Hi, so you clicked on this video for one of three reasons. One, you're one of my Discord friends and respect and value my work by watching my video and helping me out even though you don't even make music. Or two, you're generally interested in how to make breakcore. Regardless, thanks for watching this shithole of a video I wasted my time on. First of all, if you're new to making music, click off fucking click off like right fucking now. Breakcore is a complex genre that requires some skills in order to be done properly and with just the right amount of it your songs should be perfect but I bet now you're all like but wait star I don't have the skill I'm a shitty little button a polo shirt durag on my ass as a diaper for shitting and pissing banana head ass tiktok kid with no likes or needs well then that's exactly why I made this video <laughs> so let's get fucking started I'm gonna divide this shit into five chapters so you better get comfy let's go What you just heard was a killed aim and break, aka chopped up aim and break. The aim and break is a drum break that has been widely sampled in popular music. It comes from the 1969 track Aim and Brothers by the soul group The Winstons, released as the B side of the 1969 single Color Him Father. The drum break lasts about 7 seconds and was performed by Gregory Coleman. But we don't care about that. I know you're here because you want to make those overly quick aim and breaks, dying with a set of high pitched anime OST samples that makes your fucking ears bleed. No, 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 no. We don't do that here, honey. Breakcore is unique but can have slight differences and not gonna lie it's pretty fucking hard to define the song's genre whenever you hear an and break some people say oh no that's jungle oh no that's break or oh no that's drum and bass okay i'll tell you they're all the exact fucking same. <laughs> Jungle is ambient and quiet apart from breakcore. Breakcore is more focused on the break itself more than anything else in the track. But you know, if you want to be that guy, then fuck it up as much as possible. Drum and bass is a genre. Meanwhile, jungle and breakcore are its subgenres. It's simple. If you hear a fast-paced break with slight distortion and fullness to the track, then it's breakcore. If you hear a slower-paced, quieter, and calmer break with ambient pads or synths with a lot of reverb, then it's jungle. And if you hear... well... Yeah, that's, um, that's drum and bass. Okay, now that you got the point, let's move on to how to start your first breakcore track. Arranging breakcore tracks ain't that hard. It's just like arranging any song. Pull your shit up, put some effects for intro, make it long, and then the drop. But I believe you know how to do that, so let me show you how to kill a break. Killing a break basically just means to fuck up a break sample to your own way, make it longer, and merge it either with another break sample, mix it differently, or just changing it up differently than it originally is. Which is basically all that's breakcore about killing breaks. If you don't know how to do that, then you should try jungle. Jungle is more simpler to do. As long as you know how to do some good ambient pads and use the right VST, you're good. But again, we're not here for that. I'm here to teach you how to fuck breaks properly and make a song with them. Make sure it fits well with the sample or your own melody you're gonna use. Place it down and then start chopping. I recommend using step for the snap to grid because you can get each element of the break easier. Then play around with it. Turn into a fucking rage beat hi-hat pattern. Something like this. Then you can add another break if you want and layer it. Just make sure you match the new break with the same elements as the first one, like this. Okay, now that you kill your break, it's time for the sample or melody. I'm not gonna talk about sampling because it's pretty much straightforward. I'll talk about making a melody that would fit it, but that depends on what kind of vibe do you want your track to give off. Perhaps do you want that good ambient type pad that makes you feel like you're in a dream, or just want those shitty glitchy synths or pads? That's up to you. I prefer ambient pads, they just hit the best. Load up serum or literally anything that has sexy pads. Then start with chords. You can extend the chords violently or just stick with two chords and just let them repeat. Note that the tracks can get boring easily if you don't change up the melody at least a little bit. That's where the breaks come in, to fill it up. When placing breaks, make sure they fit perfectly with the vibe of the melody or sample you've chosen or made. If the melody is a dreamy ambient pad, then use lighter breaks. If the melody is more harsher and heavier, use heavier breaks. Or lighter breaks, but if you know how to mix them right which is the next chapter.
When it comes to mixing, it's something you have to be worried about because it's definitely a fucking bummer. So let's keep it simple. Pads, reverb. Sound Goodizer helps. It always does. Just make sure to put the volume down a bit after applying it. You can use subtle delay, but if it's a long pad, then don't expect to hear much. Just turn the mix down a bit if you're going to apply it anyway. And fuck with the EQs. Always fuck with the EQs. Worse can help as well. Stock preset is good enough. Just put the mix down. Always fuck with the mix knob. For the breaks, you can put reverb as well. Just don't overdo it or wet it too much. Delay helps make it sound more full, but you need to know how to use it. I prefer Delay Bank. It has very useful presets and nice features. It is kind of hard to understand it. Like, I barely know what half of the knobs do. Turn the mix down very low so you can't notice the delay much. It definitely helps a lot. Soundgrizer works too since it's just drums, but it can make it sound bad sometimes. Normally does. I avoid it, but it can be useful sometimes. EQ that be really real good. Mostly focus on the high and low ends. Mid isn't really that important. Another thing I like to do when mixing breaks is I like to EQ the lows for the bass to be a little louder. Then I'd add a subtle kick sample like the infamous rack kick and turn the boost knob up a little bit. Then I'd align it with how the kicks and the breaks go and it would make it sound more full. Do this, it helps a lot. For the intro of the track, make sure the intro starts slowly and progressively builds up. I like a fucking EDM track, just nice, subtle, easy rising. You can EQ the intro, flanger the intro or just don't do anything. Let the melody play first, then make intro drums right before the drop starts. Be creative, that's the key. You can do the same for the outro. What I like to do is reverb the ending a lot so you have that long ending tail at the end. It just makes it better, I don't know how. Oh yeah, and a tip. When you're about to stop your breaks and it sounds too immediate, the thing I like to do is cut out the snare part of a break sample, put snap to grid to 1 per 6 speed or 1 per 3 step, and make a small roll with the snares and put delay. Like so. Sounds cleaner, right? The point of breakcore is to be creative with it. If you don't have that full sound to your track, people are just gonna find it boring. So in conclusion, reverb, delay, and EQ help make the song sound more full. And just like that, we're done with the track. Now what's left is one part that isn't really that important, but I decided to throw it out anyway. Breakcore is hyper and aggressive, but it can also be sad and moody. You have to listen to your creation, understand it. If the song is moody and sad, find a more appropriate name for it. And if you're uploading it somewhere, a nicer cover art. You can make it yourself or simply find it somewhere off of the internet, it doesn't matter. I'm noting this because recently I've been starting to see breakcore tracks being moody and their names just fucking FIRST BREAKCORE TRACK RATED yeah. I find making music kind of a serious thing, but if you don't, then <laughs> just do what you want. I'm just recommending to be a little serious about it if you really want your song to do some numbers. And with that, you should have your sweet, soothing breakcore track. I hope this video helped some of you understand the concept of breakcore and specifically how it's made. I've had this video idea in mind for a very long time, just never had the time to fuck with it or think about it at all. I've also been grounded for the past like three weeks and shit, so I couldn't even do anything anyway. If you want to listen to the full track I just showed you, you can find the link to it in the description. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>